Hey, it's Malcolm again, and today I'm going to talk about five things that you really need to know, very basic things before buying a Kranzel or most pressure washers anyway. Before I start, I just want to say thanks to a couple of people who bought me a Cornetto and drink on the last video that I did, was a while ago, and I said if I helped you, there's a link in the description to buy me a drink. A few people have done that, so thanks for that. Um, I have got some notes on the screen here about this five bits that you really got to know before buying a pressure washer. Uh, if you want to know anything in depth, then I'll do a specific video on each step if the demand's there for it. So first things first, straight away, you're going to need to know how you're going to put water into the pressure washer and you're going to need to know how to power it. Are you going to be using a mains electric? If so, is it going to be 240 volts, three phase? Are you going to use a generator, an inverter? Are you trying to run it off batteries? Things like that. They all need to be sorted out first so that you can decide now what size motor and what size pump you've got. The same with the water. If it's coming from a mains water, then it's not too bad. Pretty much any pressure washer will run. If you're running it from a water tank, you're going to need a specific machine that will run from a water tank. Some of them do not. Um, which leads me on to the number two. The water, you're going to need a certain litres per minute coming from that tap, or you're going to need a certain amount of litres per minute coming from the tank, if that's the case you're going to be using it. Um, the quickest and easiest way to do it is literally open the tap fully, fill a bucket, uh, time it for a minute, and see how many litres you've got. Um, you can time it for 30 seconds and double it. It's no big deal. So just try and figure out exactly how many litres per minute you are getting from your water tank or your, uh, your water supply. Sometimes if you're using a water tank or a, a water butt, they'll have a really thin hose, um, <sighs> don't know what I'm saying. Uh, sometimes if you're running from say a water butt and they have a small tap, the restriction in the tap may be too, too small for it to suck the water all the way through. So you've got to make sure you've got a good flow of water. So if say for argument's sake, you're using a 7122, you need that seven liters a minute. If you've got a 10122, you're going to need that 10 liters a minute. Uh, there's not many pressure washers that run higher than 10 or 12 liters per minute until you start getting into the three phase realm, the big three phase machines or a big petrol machine. In which case, if you've got three phase, chances are you've got a big water supply to cope with it anyway. Um, the next one is, will it need looking after? It will need looking after. With any Kranzels, they, they really are like an old school machine. They're really machined and they're built well. But if you don't check the oil, or if you don't have it serviced, then when something does go wrong, it's gonna cost you money. If you get it serviced or the, for the price of an oil change, and just to keep an eye on the oil, uh, and if it turns milky or whatever, getting it serviced and cleaned out, will save you a fortune over the years and make the machine last literally forever. The next one is related to that. You've got to protect it from frost. I see so many people leaving them in vans and sheds overnight during the winter. As soon as it gets below freezing, you really want to try and keep it either covered up in a blanket or bring it into the house, trying to keep it above that freezing level. Um, it is possible to try and get rid of the water out of the pump by disconnecting all the hoses, turning the machine on for a few seconds to drain the water out of the pump. Um, that's not too bad. You will not get all the water out. So there will be a certain amount of frost. And if you turn it on in the morning, if you need to use it during the winter, um, that ice can sort of damage or crush something. So just be aware of it. If you keep it away from the frost, it will last you a lot longer. And that brings me on to the final one. Uh, you've got to protect it from feeds. These are sought after as a second hand machine. Um, at the moment, the way the COVID and the Brexit, all that is at the minute, People are after the machines. We can't get stock of them quick enough for people to buy them. Um, and when people need them, sometimes they get stolen to order. So if you leave them in a van, uh, they only need to break that door open. They've got a four or 500 pound machine worth it on the second hand market. So just be careful of that. 
So if you want to know anything in depth of anything that I've talked about today, let me know in the comments below and I will try and do a specific um, video on that subject and then hopefully we'll get everybody up to speed. As always, thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next video.